Us. Welcome everybody. We are going to predominantly train Gyakusuki reverse punch today. We are going to do four sets of various exercises involving Gyakusuki. So let's start with set number one. Take Kiramarak to my third, left side. And from there, Gyakusuki position. So make sure that this knee stays steady and make sure that your hips start from shomen, from the gakuzuki position, and then we're going to do kasamazuki, and then make sure that your hips turns hanemi when you do the kasamazuki. Hitch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sit, hach, ku, kyo. Make sure I'll just turn sideways. In the Gyakuzuki position, when you are doing shoman hips, that the back leg is locked. Because what you want to try and do when you go into the Kasamazuki from the Gyakuzuki position, that you are opening your hips and then you have compression on the back leg. So this back knee turns the foot, turns the hip, so that pushes the heel into the floor, that you can make the body rotation, in other words from Hanami into shaman so that feeling so drive off the back leg to go to that side and I so starting from gyakuzuki position shaman hips again hitch ni sam shi go ruk sit hach ku jo now re We're now going to do set number two. I want you to turn your body sideways and take a Haikodachi stance. So not too wide, parallel hip width, stance like this. And you're going to take your hand and put it in a Tate Shutuki position towards the front. Make sure that your Hikite arm pulls all the way back. You want to be exactly in this position with this arm pulling back and this arm to the front. So now we're going to use the body attack to do that Gyakuzuki. So timing important, target important, stance important, the Hikite hand is going to pull back and everything must come together in a straight Gyakuzuki to the front. Hitch. Nihip. San. Shin. Untie, face the other way, again Haikodachi, right arm out now to the front. You can almost use your middle finger as a guide, almost like a gun sight, to make sure. The reason why we do this exercise, set number two, is for us not to move wide when we do the Gyakuzuki. Try and stay in that same line moving forward. So other side, same idea. Hitch! Nip, sun, ship, go, hey! and now we are now going to do set number three. It starts the same as set number two, but we're going to add a kikomigiri to the movement. Make sure after the kick that you sink down to generate that body attack movement. In other words, to move forward into the Gyakuzuki. So again, Haikodachi, right hikite on the hip, left tate shutuki towards your target. So now we're going to lift the left knee and we're going to do a kikomegiri to the front, sink down and then add a Gyakuzuki. Five times. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Hey. Anti. Other side. Like I said just earlier, make sure that you sink down after the kick. First down and then move. First down and then lateral forward. Same on the side. Right leg kikomigiri and then left arm kyakuzuki. Five times. Hitch. 
2 3 4 5 We're now going to do set number four and now we're going to use the angles and we're going to do a combination of the Tate Shutuki, the way that we've uh, obviously used our guide to, towards the target and then obviously the Gyakuzuki to follow up. So from there, read. Yo! Right side goes for Migi. Get right like that. So always think about it like this, so if you get confused. Think of we're moving always to the open side, never the closed side like this. The foot that moves, in other words, we're going to move to the left, that same arm presses the Tate Shutuki first. So I'll do it slowly and you can practice. We're going to just do the first four. There's obviously eight and then you can apply the another eight to get to the 16. And I'll just show you exactly how I did it. So like I said, first towards the open side. So together, Tate Shutuki and Yakuzuki. Now you're going to move again to the open side. And as you do it, this side, the Tate Shutuki. Move this foot and then in a positive motion, the Yakuzuki this way. Nip. Open side. You can move your foot. Remember that straight line that we practiced earlier. So this way and then Yakuzuki in this direction. And now again, open side, towards this side, and Gyakuzuki, number four, and Yokiai. Shi! Hey! And now there. So we'll do that one again, slowly, the four directions. Remember, like I said, open side, same foot, Tate Shutuki, and add the Gyakuzuki. The reason why I emphasize that is later when you do the eight, and ultimately the 16, not to get confused and to get in a bit of a tangle when you do the movements, especially fast. So let's go. Right side, come right there. Hit. Ni. San. Shi. Ai. Now ready. So let's add the next four to get to the eight. So we're going from the beginning, come right there. Hit. Ni, San, Shi, Hai. Now we're going this way. Go, Rook, Siege, Hai. Hai. And now you get back to your eight in this position facing forward. Let's just do five to eight again. You are on this side, right leg, left arm, towards the left. So press, punch. Press, punch. Press, punch, press, and then punch. And now there. So when you get to the eight, to go to the other side, so you've obviously finished like this, then do a kirikaye, front, and switch legs. And now, the same, but now this side. And then you can do nine to 16. See if you can do that, and remember, the body attack, the hip position, the timing, all of those things. Very important to do your Gyakuzuki. This Tate Shutuki must also be strong. Remember, it's hitting the person in his shoulder to open this arm up. So don't forget to do this strong. So when you do the Tate Shutuki, this strong. And then add the Gyakuzuki. This helps you, Hanami. And then from here, Shoman to press and do the Gyakuzuki. Remember to turn on the heels, remember your target line, have fun, enjoy your Yakuzuki. Us.